Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do a shop update. Apologize for the delay, but it takes a long time to when you make everything from hand, by hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything I'm updating, and then I'm gonna show you some stuff that I still have in the shop, and um, so you can see what's still available there. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so you guys know I gotta do my jewelry. You know I got to do it. So these are all stretchy bracelets. Same thing, these are all double. So when I do the stretchy string, it's twice so that it provides, and I use like a nylon stretchy string, not the plastic. Um, so I'll have four of these available. I figured it'd be easier to show it this way. This right here, there's gonna be three charms. This is a mother of pearl heart. And then, like I said, all glass beads, even the seed beads are all um, either Czech or Mayuki glass beads. So I use very good quality seed beads in the metal. And these bracelets, when I make them, they're to fit a six, six and a half, and a seven inch wrist. So let me show you, just so you have something to reference to. I have a six inch wrist, okay? And this is how it would hang on me. Okay, I'm a stacker. So when I wear bracelets, I like to stack. So for me, I'd probably have like another four of those on my wrist. I love a big stack. So this is how it would hang on a six inch wrist. You know, you have give right here. So for a seven inch, it would fit just a little, you know, it's not gonna be snug to where you can't, your wrist is, you know, tight, but it'll sit perfectly. It won't have as much of a drop. But I like to do this size because it does cover three sizes because I can't do a bunch in a six, a bunch in a six and a half. I just, I just can't do that. That's crazy. <laughs> so, and then I'm gonna have four of these available. These are all blue and these are all glass. So this one's gonna have four charms. And like I said, all I've wire wrapped all of these beads. And then this is a heart and it's got an AB tone to it. So it picks up off of the colors. Again, everything in the middle of these will all be the same quality type of seed beads that are glass. Love these. Okay, I always gravitate to greens. I just, I think they're so beautiful. So this one right here is just a whole mixture of different kinds of beads, but they're all glass. And then I did, this one's so cute. It's got a flower cap on it and it's got like blue green to it. It's so gorgeous. And then I'll have three of those on there. Okay, then we have, these are super fun. So you see they look like marbled green. So, so, so pretty. This will have three wire wrapped beads. This is a heart. This one right here, it's like an AB tone, so it picks up off the greens. I love it. So fun, I like really love these. Okay, these right here are pearls. These are glass pearls, not real. Okay, and then I have three, I have a glass bead here and another glass pearl. And then this right here is a mother of pearl heart. Okay, so that's that. Then the last one I have is this really beautiful, this is all glass pearls as well. And it'll have three um, wire wrap beads as well on there. Super duper beautiful. Okay, then I wanted to try something new. These are cell phone charms, and I did one. This is just a little star, and um, so I did another one of those really pretty flower bead caps. This right here has got like a blue green color to it, and then so they're all kind. They all intertwine the colors. Are so pretty, and you just wrap this inside your um, cell phone case super duper cute so i have four of those i do have these right here i have one of these on my cell phone but mine's cream and this is just a clear butterfly glass bead glass pearl and this right here is an acrylic flower bead and that's a Swarovski bead with an ab tone to it so super fun um i don't know that makes it better for you to see it on my skin tone since it's clear on there. And then this one right here, I super duper love. Okay. This right here, I purchased a bunch of these from um, 
Atlas Craft. I get a lot of my per, my cra, uh, clay um, little charms like this from her. All I did was change out the metal finding because I prefer silver as opposed to the gold. And same thing. This is just a super light yellow glass bead, a lavender, and then a clear um, butterfly. And then just a little charm of a flower. Super duper cute. And in the back, it's plain. Love, love her work. Can't wait to order more from her so I can make some more. And then this right here, our pink. So you'll see right here. I'm putting this on my hand because I have a feeling if on the white, it's, you know, maybe on this white one. I don't know if it'll show better. Um, let's just do it on my hand. Okay, so these right here are glass flowers and they're in between our all Swarovski bicone beads. And then I have a glass heart that's pink and then just a cute little, what you call it, flower. Okay, super duper cute. And I only have three of those. So those are for the, as far as the phone charms. And then I have these cards that I've made. So I'll have two of these. Okay, and these right here are, um, I believe they're five and a half by five and a half cards. So they will not go inside. Well, I don't want to say that because that's possibly not true. Let me make sure it's a five and a half because I want to, oh no, I lied. It's six. Six by five and a half. Okay, so because this guy right here, he's kind of big and I love him to death. This is an Erica die that I was like, I when I bought it from her, I was like, this was the reason for it so that I could uh, make cards with them. I love this little cow dye. I die. So I just put some flowers on here. Of course, using her dyes, I put a pom-pom. It's lifted up on three millimeter foam. You, if you put this in a card, it's gonna be an, an envelope. You're gonna have to custom make one. I wouldn't trust putting this in the mail. I would not do that, um, only because these are lifted up and so is this, and it would probably destroy it. But I did also um, use an embossing folder, a 3D embossing folder. I was going to take this and put it up one more, but I'm like, oh, because I love layers of dimension. And I was like, okay, Anna, slow it down. So I left it flat, and then it's just lined in the inside. I thought these would be cute, and I left it plain. I didn't put anything on it so that you could, if you want it to be a happy birthday or a welcome baby or a girl who just loves cows, I will just leave it for that and not label it. So I have two of these available, okay? And then I have two of these, which you'll see the difference, okay? I changed it up. She is so stinking cute, <laughs> like I love it, okay? It's lined in there as well, same exact dimensions, beautiful flowers with little gems in the middle and a little pom-pom. So, so, so cute. So I'm gonna have these inside my shop as well. All right, and then for my vintage shabby lovers who do junk journaling and you know stuff like that, or whatever you wanna use it for. You don't have to use it for a specific thing. So I made these paper clip little snippets. I had an absolute blast putting these together. I have only have three sets of these. This right here, the three I'm gonna show you is one set. So I have three of these, okay? So I did these cute that are on muslin. I hand sewed it in the back. And then I used like a Fabri-Tac type of adhesive to adhere all of the fabrics together. And then I put some twine in the button. Every one of them have little charms hung with twine and I wire wrapped both of those. Beautiful, right? Look at how beautiful that is. <gasps> I love it. And then I just have some scrunchy seam binding. How cute is this gonna look inside of wherever you decide to put it in? I'm just, I die. It's so stinking cute. So I have did another one. This one's longer. So for just for dimension reasons, the shortest one, okay, is three inches and that's not including the paper clip. Okay, this one right here is about four and a half inches, not including the paper clip. So I have those charms. And like I said, they're just hung on with twine. These little cuties, man, I've had these for forever. And some of you girls are gonna remember these. So they're all, it's a beaded flower with some bugle beads. And I was like, oh my gosh, I only have one left. I've held on to these like nobody's business. 
and um, and I just have it layered on stuff and again it's you know it's a hand sewn in the back and I like that I left it messy on purpose and just left the strings there I didn't want to fine cut everything I kind of wanted to leave things the way they were so that'll be super pretty on whichever you decide to put it on love it and that's like just a gold mesh and then the third one oh no I grabbed hold on I grabbed one of the here we go this is the third one sorry so this one right here same thing it's on the muslin hand sewn and it does move it's not glued to that and then I just have this beautiful um, beaded applique piece I hand sewed this um, button on here and it's a shank that sticks out so um, that's why it sits like this it's not that it I mean I hand sewed it a few times in there okay and that's a really beautiful bead or button and then these are the beads that are um, charms it's like a champagne color glass bead so I absolutely love that with a little pearl heart and then some scrunchy seam binding I love how this came out though. It's so stinking cute. And if you wanted to add more, you could. I just wanted to leave these simple because my snippets is where I add a lot more stuff. So you would get one, two, three of these is one, one deal. Like when you pay for it, you get all three, okay? And I only have three sets of these, okay? Now let's go ahead and dive into the snippets. I'm not gonna be doing snippets anymore, guys. It takes, it's so much time. It takes so much time. And um, I would have to have a special reason to do it. But all five of these, I have five kits of these. And there's five snippets in each kit. So, and they're all different. Okay, so you just got to pay attention when, um, when you go on there to see which ones you like. So here is one snippet. These are all hand sewn. No liquid adhesive or anything like that. So you'll always be able to see my work in the back. And then here's this one. I just love these so much. I need to make some for myself. I have none for myself. When I make these, it's because I'm selling them, but I need to keep these on hand just for myself. I love it. So you can see how I hand stitched the key on there. And then here's this one. So this one has a lot to it that I hand sewed this button, this glass bead, this applique, this little strip of beautiful pearl or gemstone. So you get one, two, three, four, five. And that's how I've always sold them is in fives. Okay. So that's one. And then we will dive into the second one. All right. Here's one. I hand sewed all of these little seed beads. And then this right here are all little extras, just little pieces. So you see all my work in the back. Okay, and then we have this one right here. Just little pieces of of stuff. Like this is just a little piece of a doily that I had that I cut up for whatever reason. I have no clue. Then we have this one right here. This beautiful button. This pearl. This button. Another button. Little doily piece. So there's all my work. And then here's another one. How beautiful is that? Little hand sewed seed beads. I love it. And then we have this right here. This right here is a bobby pin that I purchased these, I think from Joann's and it was like a pack of four or five bobby pins. So I just put that in there. Super beautiful. So here's another set. <clears throat> okay, and then Dive into the next one. It's a little lengthier, but I wanted to show you everything. And I know some of you will watch my video for like two seconds and then you go to my store. <laughs> and I'm not going to say nothing, Doreen. <laughs> oh, I love you, girl. So I'm the guilty of that too. If I see a shop update, I don't want to watch. I'm just going to go over there before everybody gets it. <laughs> So this right here are just little buds, little flower buds that I sewed on here and some buttons and pearls on a beautiful beaded applique. I just love, love it. Okay, we have this gorgeous one right here. Another beautiful button. It's a little applique I sewed on, pearl glass bead. And then that 
that in the back. Okay. And we have this right here. It's beautiful pink. So beautiful. And then we have this one. Super pretty. I, this is a glass bead here and buttons. This is a piece for jewelry. I'm like, whatever I can feel that I can sew on there to be cute, I'm going to do it. This is an applique, beaded applique piece I added on there. Glass bead, glass bead, button, in white. See all my work in the back? <laughs> so that's one. And I did five of these guys. So imagine, five times five. So I tell you, it's work. All right, here's another one. So, so pretty. This is just a little bow that I tied out of some lace. This is a little dangle. I took the top piece off of it. I didn't like it. It was like a crackle bead. Button appliques. And I have this one. It's like a white one. Super pretty. This is a super beautiful beaded. Little tiny seed beads on that applique. And I did not sew that. <laughs> that is how it came. And then this super cutie stinking patootie. I love this one. So, so pretty. Okay. This one right here and then this one right here just gorgeous these buttons I love I got them from um, Hobby Lobby I'm able to get some more of those okay oops and we have one more one right here gorge this one right here this one right here this one love it and I did the little shooting pearls these are the ones that you can get from Hobby Lobby in the wedding section I love those so much so I had to hand sew those on <laughs> and then we have this beautiful one right here just gorgeous okay and that's it as far as the snippets are concerned I might I'm probably be making more of the paperclip ones because those ones are far easier for me to do okay and then last but not least as far as the new shop update I decided to do something different and I was like let's do some bookmarks and um let's use the back of this right here These are um, five and a half inches long um, bookmark, three millimeter in width right here. Okay, and these I um, wire wrapped all the charms on here, glass beads. And then this is just lace that I've added on here. But how fun is that with all the coffee? Okay, so I have two of those. And then I have this one right here. I loved this one. These were no joke to put the vinyl on to these acrylics. Oh my gosh, you better be right on point because as soon as this vinyl touches that acrylic, you're done. You cannot relift it up. You have to be real, real careful. So it took me forever to put all of these vinyl pieces on. But this one is just the I am loved, I am enough, I am worthy, I am blessed, I am powerful, abundant, beautiful, kind, grateful. I loved this one so much because I feel as women, we absolutely struggle, if not with all of these, with one of them, for sure. I know me, probably all of them. And it's just nice to see stuff like that and remind yourself that you are all created with purpose, every single one of you. So it is just very nice to see stuff like this. So I have a couple of those. This right here is also faith-based. Um, I have nothing dark enough to show, but right here, there you go on my skin. It says, be the light, Matthew 5, 1. So this is a faith-based bookmark. So now I'll put it on the card so you can see the rest of the floral. Just beautiful. And then these three wire wrapped beads that I put on here, just gorgeous. So I have two of those. And then I have two of these. Flippin' farting cute is that. Look. 
these beautiful glass beads right here are hand painted by Atlas Craft again. I bought some of these from her. Gorgeous work. And then just really pretty flowers. And then I have two of these. Love those tulips in orange and yellow with the green. Oh, love these. So I coordinated my glass beads to match the bookmark. And then I have two of these. This right here. Love, love, love. With all the books and the flowers. Oh, I was like, this is the cutest thing ever. This one will have four charms on it. This super cute little flower with the stem and then this. So they all coordinate with the colors within the books. So adorable. Okay. And then, did I do that one already? Yeah, I did that one. Oh, for dog lovers. Didn't forget you girls because I am too. I just don't have one yet. <laughs> I got to make sure I'm financially okay before I do that. So this one right here is dog paws and dog bones. And it's this super, it's like boho colors. I live for it. So cute. And here's the coordinating beads to match with it. And they all have the same lace. Okay. And then I only have one of these. A super beautiful butterfly with flowers. This one has four beads. Super duper beautiful. I have one of these. Super duper cute. I have two of these. These are for uh, the teachers out there. It says teacher fuel. It has three dangles. But isn't that cute? With the pencils and coffee. I love it. And then the last one is this really beautiful, soft, super soft, delicate little tulips. And this again is another one of the handmade glass beads. Super beautiful. Love these. Now for those of you, you don't have to have a book that's only five and a half inches tall. I, um, I have one in my Bible right now and it's perfect for it. And you'll see in my photos that I used my Bible as the photo prop. So those are my new items for the shop update. So really quick, I wanted to show, I still have a couple of these left, these flowers. I still have three of these lace bundles with appliques. Okay. And I still have these envelopes. And these envelopes, you know, I've, I'm sorry for all the glare, guys. Um, I love these to have on hand just for um, sending happy mail, adding, you know, adding this inside of a package, or you have a card and you need an envelope. And I have, there's three sizes in each of these that I put. So, you know, I have a couple doodle bugs and I forgot the name of these three, this collection, but I do have these as well, still in the store. I still have phone lanyards. I still have this really beautiful red phone lanyard. Okay, with a big red heart right here. This has little teddy bears. And then I have this one right here that doesn't have the big heart but it has the little ones on the side. I still have these smaller ones, just beautiful little dangles. With the butterflies that are AB. Okay, and then I still have these black ones that have hand-painted um, beads on there. Super pretty, black and gray. And then I still have I only took out a couple. We don't got time for all of that that I have lit still there. But I still have these double looped black glass beads that I super love how they came out. These are gorgeous. I have these I always have for myself as well because I like to wear these. So those are super beautiful. So it's like a black and gray. I have this beautiful brown one. 
It's like a bronzy brown glass beads. It has an AB tone to them. And then I still have these bracelets. So this is a clear. This is a black. I had people asking for black and it's so funny is I barely had anybody buy the black ones. <laughs> so um, um, I have one of these in my stash because I always have to, I always have something that's black. This beautiful purple. It's like a milk glassish type of, and these are actual real stone, not just a glass bead. Then we have this beautiful green one. This beautiful blue. It's like a milky blue. And then this super pretty gray. So, and I still have more guys, but this is all I wanted to grab out. Also to really fast, actually, I forgot. <laughs> I have a lot of my cards still left over as well. So these are all A2 size cards that um, you can send through the mail. So, and it comes with the matching envelope that I've made for them. Super duper cute. So I just wanted to quickly show these because um, there's some people that may have not seen this in my first shop update. And then there's the inside, and then we have this one. I've actually grown to like A2 size cards. Normally I like doing like the slim lines or the super, you know, there's some dimension in that. The super big beefy cards, you guys know how I roll with that. And then this one right here. And I have a tape on all of these double side, you just peel it off. Super duper cute. Okay, then we have this one, big hugs, it's also on dimension, and then I used 3D embossing of hearts, so you see a bunch of hearts in the background, you probably won't see because of the reflection, but super cute nonetheless, and then this one right here took me time to do, and I'm like, she didn't get no love in my shop, <laughs> super duper cute, with the little blings love how she came out and then I did I did these dinosaurs in three different colors so you know these were these were a little time consuming to make as well I tried to make them very simple not over the top um and here's another one it says happy birthday to you okay so that's it pretty much guys I will have everything linked below. By the time you see this, everything will be in my shop. So I just wanted to quickly jump on here, show the stuff, and thank you so much for supporting my little store. You know, it's not like I can quit my job, <laughs> but it gives me joy to do it, and it's, you know, a little extra money. So thank you so much. And for those of you that maybe this is not your jam and you just go look, thank you for viewing. I mean, it's all good. Um, other than that, have an amazing and super blessed day, guys. Bye.